So today's class is going to be on cosine rule. In the last class we did sine rule and ambiguous case. In today's class we are going to do cosine rule. Now, if I give you a triangle, triangle ABC. These are the small length A, C, and B. This is angle A, this is angle B, and that's your angle C. So cosine rule, the formula, or the cosine rule, is, let, now, let's also understand when do you apply cosine rule. You're going to apply cosine rule in the two situations, when, three when you are given three sides and you want to find the angle let's say you know these three angles and you want to find any angle opposite to any side then you can use cosine rule or when you are given two sides and one included angle and to find the third side you can use cosine rule so two sides if i'm calling a and b the two sides let's say side a and side b are given to you these two sides along with the included angle c so cosine rule says that the opposite length opposite length to the given angle c square is equal to a square plus b square minus 2ab cosine of angle c i'm going to repeat this the this is the second situation when you have two sides and an, an inclusive angle then if you want to find the opposite side to this angle you can use this cosine rule as c square equals to a square plus b square minus 2ab cosine of angle c that's one of the way and if if you want to find this length a and if let's say angle a is given to you B and C is given to you, the length B and C is given to you, then you can also rearrange and write A square is equal to B square plus C square minus 2 times B times C cos of angle A. Even for, even if you have length A and length C and this as angle B as an inclusive angle. So the cosine rule can be written as B square equals to A square plus B square minus, sorry, A square plus C square minus 2AC cos of angle B. There are different ways of writing this cosine rule. Now when three sides are given, situation number one, when three sides are given and let's say you want to find angle C, so you can just write your cosine rule and find solve for angle C. C the small c length is given to you. The small length a, b are given to you. The only unknown quantity is going to be angle C. If the three sides are given and you want to find angle A, you can still use cosine rule and you can find angle A. Or if you want to find angle B when these three sides are given, you just have to use the opposite length over here. B square is equal to A square plus C square minus 2AC cosine of angle B. So you can get angle B from here. Okay, let's see a question. Are there any questions so far? No, sir. So right now what I have discussed is that we apply cosine rule to solve for all the unknown angles and sides of triangles in two situations. When you are given three sides 
or when given two sides and one included angle. So let's try to solve this question. In this figure, the length AP is five, the length AQ is six, the length AB is eight, the length AC is 13, this entire length is 13, and the length BC is 14. Question wants you to find the value of cos, cos A, cosine of angle A. How many triangles can you see over here? One. How many triangles can you see this right now? Sorry? One. There are two triangles. Triangle ABQ okay. and triangle ABC. Okay? They both have this common angle A. Meaning, angle A is part of triangle ABQ as well and angle A is also the part of triangle ABC. If I want to up find the value of cos of A, I'll have to apply cosine rule. But do I have all the three sides? Which triangle am I going to use? And what are going to be the sides? A, B, Q. You must, you must use A, B, C. Okay. You can't use P, Q because you don't have the length P, Q. You can't use A, P, Q triangle because you don't have the length of P, Q to find the angle. So you have the length of B, C. Do you have the length of A, B given in the question? Yes. What is AB? 8 centimeters. 8 centimeters. What is the length of AB? What is the length of AC? 13 centimeters. 13 centimeters. So I want to find G. I want to find the angle A that is opposite to this length BC. So your cosine rule is going to be the side opposite to the angle is BC, so therefore BC square is equal to AB square plus AC square minus 2 times AB times AC cosine of angle A. Now I'm going to plug in the values BC is 14, AB is 8, AC is 13, minus 2 times 8 times 13, cos of angle A. Okay. You just have okay. to solve this. 14 square is 196. 8 square is 64. 13 square is 169. 2 times 8 times 13 is going to be 208 cosine of angle A. 208 is being multiplied with cos A. Now you can add these two and subtract it from 196. So 196 minus 64 minus 169 comes out to be minus 37. Minus 37 is equal to minus 208 cosine of angle A. So you can, if minus 208 was being multiplied with cos A, to find the value of cos A, you can divide minus 208 on the other side, minus 37 over minus 208, negative sign can be eliminated. So if you simplify this, you get 37 upon 208. That is the value of cosine of angle A. Are we clear on this? Yes, sir. Any difficulty over here? No. Okay, then I want you to suggest me how to find the length of PQ. To find PQ, which triangle am I going to consider? APQ. Triangle APQ. Right. 
So I'm going to consider triangle APQ. And which rule should I apply? I have AP ki length, I have AQ ki length. I do have cosine of angle A as well. So I have two sides and an inclusive angle. Would you agree that I should apply cosine rule to find the length of PQ? Yes. So PQ square is going to be equal to AP square plus AQ square minus two times AP times AQ cos of angle A. PQ is unknown to us. The value of AP given in the question is five plus five square plus six square minus two times five times six. What was the value of cosine of angle A? 37 upon 208. So in place of cos A, you can directly use its value that is 37 upon 208. Once you have this, you can just simplify. Now, please understand that these are the two terms that are going to be added together. And these are the terms that are going to be simplified first before subtracting. So 5 square plus 6 square is 61. Take away 2 times 5 times 6 times 37 upon 208. That's coming out to be 552 upon 555 upon 52. Okay, so that is equal to PQ square. If I simplify this further, PQ square comes out to be PQ square comes out to be 2617 upon 52. To find the length of PQ, you are going to take the square root and PQ comes out to be 7.09 centimeter. Three significant figure may this is the value. Let me know if you want me to repeat any of the part. Is everything clear? Any questions? So in the last part, I want to find the area of quadrilateral PQ BCQP. BCQP. This is the quadrilateral area that I need to find. Now, I don't, I, I can't recognize this figure as the one which I have a formula to solve to find the area of. So you can't use the formula to find the area of this figure. I know it's a quadrilateral because it has four sides, but neither it's a parallelogram, neither it's a rectangle, nor a trapezium. Okay. So you have to go for an indirect working. Now, what you can do is you can take out the area of triangle ABC first and then subtract the area of APQ. Would you be getting the area of the quadrilateral? Okay, to find the area of the quadrilateral, you can first find the area of the triangle ABC and then subtract the area of triangle APQ from that. Sir, you repeat what you are being asked to find the area of the quadrilateral BCQP. Can I say that to find the area of this triangle BCQP QP, this quadrilateral, I, I can take out the area of triangle ABC first or usme se triangle APQ subtract kar dungi. Will I be getting the triangle area of BCQP? Yes, sir. 
uh, uh, quadrilateral area? Can I do that? Can you hear me now? Yes, sir. Okay. So to find the area of this quadrilateral, I can take out the area of triangle ABC first, then take away the area of triangle APQ. Now, triangle ABC ka area kaise aega? How can I find the area of the triangle ABC? What is the formula for the area of a triangle? 1 upon 2 into base into height. That was when you have given perpendicular height. Give no? One more formula you have seen the area of a triangle. Ka wo kya hai? It was half AB sine C. Remember? If you have two sides and an inclusive angle, you can yes. use that formula. So half times, what are the two lengths? I, I have cos of A, can I, can you help me find angle A now? If cos of A was coming out to be 37 upon 208, how can you find angle A? Make sure your calculator is in degree mode. You will have to take cos inverse of 37 upon 208. Can you do that and give me the answer, please? Cos inverse of 37 upon 208. It's coming out to be 79.8. Okay, let me just confirm that. Cos inverse of 37 divided by 208, 79.75, right? Yes. So this is our angle A. So when I'm using this formula half A, B, sin C, the two lengths that I'm going to be looking for are the two lengths and an inclusive angle. Half times five times six times sine of angle 79.75. Oh, I'm sorry. This is for angle, uh, this is for triangle A, B, C. That's the larger triangle. So the length of the two inclusive length are eight and 13. So half times 8 times 13 times sine of 79.75. That, that this is going to give you the area of triangle ABC minus the area of triangle APQ. So the length of AP and AQ are 5 and 6. Would you agree that the angle would remain the same? Yes. So you can do this working and simplify the answer. Fifty one point one seven. Fourteen point seven six. In three significant figures, I'm getting thirty six point four centimeters. Yes, I'm length. getting the same answer. Okay, good. So this is our area of the quadrilateral. Any questions? So yeah, one minute, पीछे कर देंगे ताकि मैं screenshot ले लूँ. Sure. Okay, so the next topic now we are going to study is the application of trigonometry and one of the application of trigonometry is bearing. Now, bearing, bearings are just, you can say, standardized ways of expressing the direction of movement. Okay, now in that you are going to use north as a starting point and the angle is measured in the clockwise direction so i'm going to repeat what I, i'm going to write what i what i just said 
these are just standardized ways of expressing direction of movement using north as a starting point and measuring in a clockwise direction now this is i'm going to write in i'm going to give you an example first a ship is traveling from point a to a point b and that point b is due east of point a at an angle of 30 degree the position okay let me show you what what the positions are going to be are you clear with the directions north south east and west do you understand what is this this is second yes. angle so there is a ship that is traveling from point a to a point b and point b is due east of point a at an angle of 30 degree let's try to visualize what's happening there is a point a and there's a ship traveling from point a to a point b point b is located in point b is located east of point a and at an angle of 30 degree so to you should have an idea of uh, about the directions about the north south east and west so you should understand this that if this is a point then this is the north this is south east and west anything over here anything between north and east is north east anything between south and east is south east if a ship was traveling between south and west then we would say it's traveling southwest and if a ship is traveling between west and north we are going to say that the ship is traveling northwest so we are going to make a north for your reference at point a and we know that it's the ship had an angle of 30 degree east if i mark the directions this is my east and the ship is traveling in such a way it's traveling 30 degree east from me the point b is due east of point a at an angle of 30 degree so we, that's your location for point b and it's located at 30 degree angle okay point b is due east of point a at an angle of 30 degree now if that's 30 degree what is going to be this angle from the north sixty sixty degree good so the angle that we measure from the north is basically the bearing okay and usually and so bearing is always stated in three digits i can also rephrase this statement as the situation as by saying that the bearing of b from a is 060 degree now 
from A means that the north is going to be made on point A. And in from A, from this north, you're going to move in the clockwise direction till this, this point B, ye wali B wali line tak. And the angle that is going to be formed is the bearing. So the angle that the line is making from the north is basically expressed as in three digits and it's called the bearing. Bearing always uses north as a starting point. Okay, so this 0, 6, 0 indicates in a clockwise direction at an angle of 60 degree from the north Okay, which is the same as 30 degree from the east. But we are now, from now on, we are going to talk in terms of bearing. And bearing is always going to have north as a starting point. So when measuring bearing, you need to know these, note these two things, that the degrees of three digits are going to be used. So if you have bearing is 60 degree calculator, you're going to write it as 060. 89 RA, you're going to write it as 089. 90 RA, you're going to write it as 090. 99 RA, you're going to write it as 099. So degrees of three digits are used. And the measurement that we are going to do, measurement is done on a horizontal plane. Okay. Any questions that you would like to ask till here? No, sir. So I'm going to give you an example so that you have an understanding how to calculate the bearings. Now, whenever you're calculating bearings, please recall the properties of an alternate angle, corresponding angles, okay? These are the few angles that you should remember. Okay, alternate angle kya hota hai? Corresponding angles kya hota hai? In the given diagram, you need to find the bearing of A from O. So I need to find the bearing of A from O. So that means the north is going to be made on O. From O on, you're going to mark this point O and then make a north. You need to find the bearing of A from O. So the north should be made on point O and you're going to move in the clockwise direction and find this angle out. So can you predict what this angle is going to be? If this is 35 and I know that this is a horizontal line, what is this angle going to be? What is the angle between north and east? Is it 90 degree? It will be 55. Yes. So you are going to do 90 minus 35 and that is 55. So the bearing of A from O is 90 degree minus 35, that is 55. But as a bearing, you are going to state it as 055. Let's look at the second part. Find the bearing of B from O. Bearing of B from O. So I will have, I, I'm going to make a north on O and move in the clockwise direction until I reach the line of B. This is the clockwise angle that is being produced. So I need to calculate this angle. Now I can clearly see that this angle is greater than 270. Like it's, it has passed 180, passed 270 and it's greater than 270. What is going to be the value? What is going to be the value of this angle from here all the way up to here? 
because that is what pairing is for B from O. Would you agree that we are going to add 47 degrees to 270 degree to get this entire angle? Can you can say it? Yes. So you can add 47 to 270, you get 317 degrees. Now that's the number in three digits. So we are going to leave it as it is. The bearing is 317 degrees. Let's look at the third part. It says find the bearing of O from A. So this time you are going to make the knot on A and move in the clockwise direction so that you find the bearing of O. This is the angle that I'm looking for. Now to find this angle, I know it's, this angle is greater than 180 degree. The bearing is going to be greater than 180 here. Now to find this angle, what I'll do is I'll, I'll first find this angle. Okay, this angle. And for that, I need to use the property of alternate angle. Can you see a Z being formed? Yes. Would you agree that whatever this angle is, if this angle is 55 degree, this angle is also going to be 55 degree because it's an alternate angle? Yes, sir. Okay, so the bearing of O from A is going to be what? What is this total angle? from here all the way till here. Two seventy. Two seventy तो यहाँ तक होता है ना? One eighty. One eighty. लेकिन ये one eighty से थोड़ा increase है और two seventy से कम है. तो one eighty तो यहाँ से लेके यहाँ तक हो गया. इसके बाद कितना additional angle है ये? One eighty तो ये straight line बन गई ये पूरा angle one eighty हो गया ये कितना additional angle है? Fifty five है। Fifty five है। तो bearing total क्या हो जाएगी one eighty plus fifty five। One eighty plus fifty five two thirty five। Okay find the bearing of O from B। So you are going to make a north on B and move in a clockwise direction till you reach the angle. Till you reach this line and measure the angle. So this is the angle that we are going to find. Now to find this angle, I'll use, I'll try to use, understand how, where the alternate angle is being formed. The north and the north are always parallel lines. So this is where the Z is being made. So this angle inside, this angle inside is going to be equal to this angle. Can you suggest what, what is this angle? What is this angle? Sir, you have to the You need to find the bearing of O from B. So you are going to make a north on B and move in a clockwise direction until you reach the line. You have O ki bearing B se malum karni hai. So the north is going to be made on B. And this is the angle, this is the angle that I'm looking for. Do you agree till here? Yes. Ab ye wala angle find karne ke liye, you, you just have to study the, ge study the geometry of, it, of these lines. So I know that north and north of parallel lines So I can find parallel lines in alternate angle. For alternate angle, I can see that my Z is made. Your Z is being formed over here. So this angle, which is the bearing that we are looking for, is going to be equal to this angle. So now I need to find this angle to state the bearing. What is going to be this angle? What can you say? You know, this is 47. That's already marked on your diagram. This is 47. What is this angle? What is the angle between south and west? This is south, this is west. What is this angle? Can you observe that this is going to be 90 degree? 
एंगल बिटवीन साउथ एंड वेस्ट इज नाइनटी ये वाला एंगल नाइनटी होगा anything that you do not understand and want me to repeat it no sir samajh aa gaya okay now let's do this example a ship sails 20 km from a point a on a bearing of 120 degree to a point b now in such cases the diagram is not going to be given to you okay and you will have to make the diagram mark the points a b and c as per the question as per this question so we are going to read the statement and try to visualize this step by step there's a ship sailing 20 km from a point a on a bearing of 120 degree to a point b so the bearing of point b from a is What is the bearing of B from A given in the question? Read this statement again. There is a ship that sails twenty kilometers from a point A on a bearing of one twenty degree to a point B. So, what is the bearing of B from A? Would you agree that the bearing of B from A is one twenty? Yes. So the first thing that you are going to do is you are going to mark point A. Make a knot on point A. Move in a clockwise direction. Now you should have an understanding that one twenty degree angle कहाँ बनता है? One twenty degree angle जो है वो ninety से greater होगा, one eighty से कम होगा. So if you start your angle from here. ये 90 से इंक्रीज होना चाहिए ज्यादा होना चाहिए इट शुड बी एक्सेस ऑफ 90 बट लेस देन 180 इट्स एन ऑब्वियस एंगल सो फॉर 120 यू कैन मार्क द लाइन समवेयर अराउंड हियर ओके सो ऑन दिस पॉइंट देयर इज पॉइंट बी लाइन एंड हाउ फार इज इट इट्स 20 किलोमीटर फ्रॉम पॉइंट ए so roughly i'm going to mark i'm going to mark point b and that point b is 20 kilometers away from a that's given in the question all i know right now was that this angle this bearing was 120 degree is there any difficulty in marking point b let me know no sir okay then then the ship is sailing for 30 km on a bearing of 225 to a point c so the bearing of c from b is going to be 225 is this statement making sense ke pehle ship is traveling from a to b at a bearing of 120 so when the ship was at a it's going to steer at 120 degree it directions of set ho jayega it's going to start traveling and will reach point b ab jab wo point b par hai it's going to again steer its direction at a bearing of 225 degree aur phir wo chalte chalte point c pe pahunch jayegi so sabse pehle we need to mark the bearing of 225 degree from point b so again you are going to make a knot now all where is going to be the bearing of 225 if you are if you start measuring your angle from this knot where do you where will you mark angle 225 over here in the sec over here over here or over here where is 225 angle going to be marked
from B, between, you need to between south and west. Between south and west. Very good. So between one eighty and two seventy, the the two twenty five degrees is going to be marked. So you mean that. सही तो थर्टी किलोमीटर्स इस डायरेक्शन में ट्रेवल कर रही है शिप एंड देन इट इज गोइंग टू रीच पॉइंट सी ओके सो दैट इज ट्वेंटी किलोमीटर्स फॉर अस दिस इज थर्टी किलोमीटर्स फॉर अस नाउ व्हाट आर वी इंटरेस्टेड इन फाइंडिंग द क्वेश्चन इज फाइंड द डिस्टेंस ऑफ सी फ्रॉम ए सो दे वॉन्ट अस टू फाइंड द डिस्टेंस ऑफ ए सी the distance of c from a okay to find this distance you you will be you will have to use the rules either sine rule cosine rule now that's going to be your decision depending on the situation we have i have the length of ab i have the length of bc okay i just have these two sides right now and i do have the bearings as well so it's always better to mark the bearings on the diagram this is going to be 225 degree okay now if you can the strategy would be to find this angle if you are able to find this angle can i say that i can apply cosine rule to find the length of ac Can I visualize? Can you visualize this? Yes. So, अब मुझे ये बताओ कि ये जो angle मैंने mark किया है, how can I have this angle ABC? Use use the properties geometry of the line. I'm going to zoom in, zoom this for you. Try to find these angles. Okay, we are going to do this Alternate. step by step. Yes. Okay. So find me this angle first. Let's find these two angles and then add them up. I can easily find this angle. You see, ये वाला angle तो बहुत easily find हो जाएगा. You know that from here to all the way up to west, it's two seventy degree. And if I have this as two twenty five, can I say this is going to be two seventy minus two hundred twenty five? just this part of the angle yes so what is 270 minus 225 45 five. 45 okay good so we have this angle as 45 now i'm also interested in finding this angle so that i can add the two later so let's find this angle If I want to find this angle, I'm going to see where is my z or where is my alternate angle being formed. So I can take this as my alternate angle. To find this angle, I must have this angle. Now, Nawal, can you suggest me finding this angle? How can I find this angle? The total angle from north. One eighty minus. Uh, 180 minus 120. 180 minus 120. Naval, फिर आपके पास ये अंदर वाला एंगल आएगा. Oh. You want to find this. So, it's a. This is a horizontal line. This is a vertical line. Would you agree that this angle is 90 degree? Yes. And the the this 
angle was 120 the bearing was 120 mm. so to find this angle can i subtract 90 from 180 yes so 120 take away 90 is going to be 30 degree yes now what is what is the total angle abc it's 30 plus 45 that is 75 degree correct so to find the length of ac can you apply cosine rule how would you apply cosine rule over here ac square is going to be साइड्स भी हैं और एक एंगल भी है 45 डिग्री हां तो मुझे वो स्टेटमेंट कंप्लीट करके बताओ ac स्क्वायर इज गोइंग टू बी इक्वल टू ba स्क्वायर ab स्क्वायर प्लस c स्क्वायर प्लस bc स्क्वायर माइनस प्लस 2 माइनस 2 ab ab टाइम्स bc cosine of angle ac angle b theek hai angle b so ab was 20 20 square plus 30 square minus 2 times 20 times 30 times cosine of angle 75 now please work this out for me and get me the correct value of ac So if you solve this, you are getting thirty-one point five kilometers after taking the square root. That's correct. Now let's move on to the next part, in which the question says find the bearing of C from A, of C, from A. So what am I looking at? I need to find the angle. I need to find the bearing of C from A. So the north is going to be made on A, and I'm going to move in the clockwise direction. Until I reach to the angle, this is the angle that I am looking for. Okay, so whatever this angle is, it's greater than one twenty. From the north to this line, it was one twenty. And if you are just able to find this angle inside the triangle, you can add that angle to one eighty to get the bearing. So our first target is to find the angle inside the triangle, which is this angle. now please suggest me some method to find some rule or method to find this angle a when i have these these things known agar mujhe ye length pata hai 20 hai ye length pata hai 30 hai ye angle inside the triangle pata hai 75 hai total theek hai so how can i find this angle now which rule should i apply sine rule sine rule very good so i can apply sine rule what is going to be the working now sine which angle are you using you are going to find angle bac sine of bac upon 30 that is going to be equal to sine of 75 upon the opposite length ac that is 31.5 cross multiply this and solve this to find angle bac this should be sine of 75 times 30 over 31.5 and in this puri cheez ka sine inverse le lo theek hai what is the angle that you are getting Five point two two. No. 
I think you are doing some error in the calculation. Sine of 75 degree times 30 divided by 31.5 and sine inverse of this answer. 66.9. So somewhere around 66.91. Acha, there might be a difference in this answer right now because I have taken 31.5, which wasn't the exact value. Okay. This value would have been coming out to be 31.46 something. Just go up near round up cardia. For calculation purpose, please understand that as a final step, you can round this answer, but for calculation purpose, you should be taking the original value. So if AC was coming out to be 31.46, it's highly advised that you take this value as 31.46. Okay, this is going to give you more accurate okay. answer. So okay. if you take this as 31.46 and then redo your calculation, what do you get? Sine of 75 times 30 divided by 31.46, you take sine inverse of this value, 67.087. But as a final answer, I'm going to round it up to one de decimal place. So 67.1 degree. Now this angle came out to be 67.1 degree for me, bearing, bearing of C from A is 120 plus 67.1. So the total bearing is 187.1 degrees. 187.1. Is that correct? Now 187.1 degrees are the three significant figure men. You can write it as 187 degrees as the final answer only. Sir, final answer bearing me three significant figures. Three significant figures. Three significant figures. Three significant figures. Do you, did you understand this question? Any problem so far? No, sir. Okay, oh I'll stop to this class till here. Okay. In the next class, inshallah, I'll do angle of elevation and depression and some either past paper questions or worksheet questions. Okay? Okay, sir. Thank you. Take care. Love